We want to welcome you, everyone, to Rowlett Park and wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Now, I don't want to steal everybody's thunder. Yeah, I got to use thunder when the lightning are here. As a matter of fact, that was my daughter's first thing was thunder. The first song was Thunderstruck. So, you know, she used to sing that song all the time. But there are a lot of people to thank, and I know the other speakers will mention them. I do want to recognize and thank the Tampa Bay Lightning. Not only are they winning on the rink, but they are winning in the community. About a year ago, Mr. Jay Feaster, who's the Vice President of Community Development, and some other Lightning representatives, some ticket members, they did a fantastic job renovating their Rowlett Activity Center. Where all are y'all from? The kids love it, the community love it. And it was about a year ago, and then we, at that time we said, hey, we have an old hockey rink across the way. And Jay Feaster and a couple others said, well, let's go take a look at it. When they got over here, the first thing they said, we got to do something about this. And a year later, here we are. So I thank you. These kids definitely thank you. My staff thank you, and the community thanks you for everything that you've done. As a matter of fact, this place is packed every night since you built it. So if you get a chance to come out here and see all the crowd, you know, definitely get a chance to go out here. So again, thanks, Mr. Feaster. Thanks, Tampa Bay Lightning. And of course, go Bolts. And kids? Good job. <laughs> All right, with that, Mr. Feaster. Thank you very much, John, and thank you, all of you children, for that. That was awesome. We're going to get a chance to do that again later, and you'll be able to do it with a, a street hockey stick in your hand, and, and then instead of the claps, you bang the street hockey stick on the ground. So we're going we're gonna to get to do that again. We appreciate you already learning that part of it. It's a pleasure to be here today, and we thank all of you for coming out. Uh, as John said, there are some people that I'd like to recognize right away and, and say thank you to. First of all, two of our former Tampa Bay Lightning players are here with us today. Both of them are Stanley Cup champions. One of them was part of our 2004 Stanley Cup team and also won a Stanley Cup with the Blackhawks. We don't like to talk about that, but he did. Please welcome Mr. Jason Cullimore. And a former Lightning goaltender, he won a Stanley Cup with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Please welcome Matthew Guerin. Anybody know where the Lightning sit in their division right now? What place they're in? Second, very good, well done. And nipping, nipping at the heels of the Boston Bruins who are in first place, right? Well, we're very, very fortunate and very appreciative to have with us today two of our current Lightning players. So please welcome from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Mr. Cedric Paquette and Mitchell Stevens. Guys? It's been a great process to go through here and, and be able to put this program together. Everyone with Parks and Recreation has been just tremendous. Uh, Paul Dial, John Allen, and certainly Heather Erickson, everyone, Alvin Holder, everyone that we deal with in Parks and Rec has been very, very supportive and, and have been with our programming for a long time. So we say thank you to them. I also personally appreciate the, the work of Catherine Ginster, who is the assistant, assistant uh, senior assistant, rather, city attorney. And she was the one who helped us get the legal work done, the paperwork done. So it's great to be here. We're going to be back a lot. We've made a commitment to the city and Parks and Rec that we'll come back and our, our alumni will come back and we'll do clinics. We'll do tournaments here. We're going to help set up league play. So we really want you to enjoy and use this facility. And I can tell you that something like this isn't possible without a lot of people getting behind it. And one of the corporations that has gotten behind the Tampa Bay Lightning for a long time and has been with our community hockey department for a long time is Chase Bank. And so I want to introduce to you the marketing director for Chase Bank, Mr. Mike Gray. Mike. Hey, good afternoon. 
Love to see all your smiling faces. You guys look great, and the chant was awesome. Thank you. So uh, again, I, I am Mike Gray. Uh, I am the market director for Chase in the Tampa Bay area. And today I, I am here on behalf of the 5,000 local employees that we have here in Tampa. Uh, Chase has been a proud partner of the Tampa Bay Lightning for over seven years. And through the Equip the Thunder programs with the Lightning, we've provided more than 160,000 of Tampa Bay's youth with uh, street hockey balls and sticks to raise hockey awareness and appreciation since 2015. We've also visited more than 650 schools. We are so proud to be involved today in the unveiling of this new hockey rink and continue to teach the importance of teamwork, sportsmanship, and hard work to you kids. I just want to take a moment to thank Jay, Stevie Griggs, Shannon from the Lightning, Mayor Kester, uh, for all the hard work that you do in our communities each and every day. You truly make a difference. And I really look forward to watching you kids enjoy this rink. Thank you. Jay? Thank you very much, Mike. The one thing that I can tell you is that something like this, this is one of 10 outdoor rinks that we're building in the five contiguous county market areas surrounding Amelie Arena, the home of the Lightning. Something like this doesn't happen if you don't have great leadership at the top of your organization. And someone who has supported everything that we've wanted to do in community hockey, someone who believes in our vision in Jeff Vinnick's vision and is a great visionary in his own right. I want you to welcome, please, the CEO of the Tampa Bay Lightning, Mr. Steve Griggs. How are you guys doing? You go ahead and chant again. Let's do it again. Ready? You guys do it? One, two, three. Let's go. Perfect. Uh, I will be quick because we want to get sticks in the kids' hands here. Uh, you can get excited about the Lightning because in the last 24 games, we've gone 21, 2, and 1, which is pretty awesome. So, so on behalf of Jeff Vinnick and the entire Lightning organization, uh, we are so excited. We've been around for 10 years with Jeff Vinnick that uh, our number one goal is to continue to grow the game of hockey. And we started Really, in the arena first, we've had 230 consecutive sellouts. Our uh, ratings are an all-time high. Everyone's wearing lightning gear around this city, and we love it. But in 2015, under Jay, our focus really became, OK, how do we grow youth hockey? Uh, and over the last four years, it's been just tremendous success. Like Mike said, we've had 160 sticks, 160,000 hockey sticks in the hands of kids around this community. So what do we have to do next? We had to build some rinks to make sure they had a place to play. Uh, this is gonna be our fourth rink that we're opening. Uh, on Monday, we're gonna open up our fifth in Sadie Park. Uh, and we're really appreciative of the NHL, the NHLPA, and of course, the city of Tampa for helping us open this one here. We've already opened up in Ruskin, we've opened up in Lakewood Ranch, and we've also opened up in Oldsmar. And if you also count the Hockey Hub, as well as Tom Oliver, which we refurbished uh, back in September with our friends at Moss, we now are going to have about 14 rinks that you can jump on and go play at any time and that's going to be programmed by Jay and his team. So we're really excited about that. There's some people I'd like to thank, Mike Gray and the entire Chase team. Thank you very much. Um, you guys are huge partners of ours. You're huge partners in the community. Uh, you you uh, believed in us when we first arrived here, and we, we're all about best in brands, and we're best in community, and thank you very much for being partners with us through this journey, so thank you very much. <laughs> to Cedric Paquette and uh, Mitchell Stevens, thanks for joining the kids today. You guys got four games and six nights. It's also Valentine's Day, too, so thank you guys for making the time to be with the kids. It's very special for kids. As somebody who grew up in Canada, when an NHL player shows up and it can teach you a game about hockey, that's pretty exciting. So thank you guys for being here. Um, to Mayor Castor and John Allen and the entire city of Tampa and the Parks and Rec Department, thanks for helping prepare this for us. Thank you for the programming that you're going to do for this arena, making sure that we have young kids playing here each and every night. 
Uh, not only here, but at the Tom Oliver one, thank you guys for making this a hockey town. And to Jay and Josh and the entire community hockey team, uh, hockey day in Tampa was on Sunday, and that was an amazing day. 5,000 people showed up at the arena. We had girls playing hockey. We had boys playing hockey. We had ice hockey. We had street hockey. We had sled hockey. We had the alumni playing. We had high school hockey. It was just an incredible transformation of what hockey is in this community. So thank you guys for everything you did. Uh, and you know, as I think about this, how do you put a stick into a kid's hand who then is playing on this court here and then goes to play, learn to play, learn to, learn to skate, plays high school hockey, goes off to play college hockey, and the next thing you know, the number one draft choice is coming out, is coming out of Tampa Bay playing for the Tampa Bay Lightning. It could be one of you kids right here. So that's really the vision of what we have here with Jay and his team. Uh, we're so excited and very appreciative. Uh, I get the great honor of introducing Mayor Castor, uh, who is uh, our biggest fan. Uh, when you have a mayor texting you saying, how are the boys doing tonight? Are they ready for the game tonight? That's when you know you got something going when the mayor's showing up at every single game and cheering on our boys. So with that, Mayor, thank you for everything you do in this city, in this community, and thank you for everything you do for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Thank you. All right, guys, let's hear it for the Lightning. How exciting is this? So I want to say thank you, Jay. Thank you, Steve. And Steve's got like the coolest truck in the world. Anybody that wants to see one of those big old Raptor trucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And what I do every time I go anywhere with Steve, I try to get him to say organization because he's from Canada and that's how they say it in Canada. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another wonderful, wonderful hockey rink by the Tampa Bay Lightning. And thank you, Chase, for all that you have done to partner with this. Uh, you know, as you can see, the Lightning's got a lot of partners here in the community. As the mayor, one of my partners is Orlando Goods. He and I were both police officers together for a lot of years, a lot more years than any of you guys have been around. And now he is working at uh, city council. So he's a city council member representing this area. So he and I work together just like the Lightning works with all the other community partners. So we are very excited to get you guys out here. Uh, I hope that one of you or I see you out on the uh, ice as a NHL player in the future. I am a rabid hockey fan and I have never in my life been on ice skates. But you know what? I'm 60 years old and getting up on ice skates could pro probably be like a life ending event for me. So I cheer from the sidelines for our hockey team, which I hope you guys all do as well. So enjoy this rink. My son plays at the rink um, over on the river that we opened up uh, in September. So he plays on that on a regular basis with all the kids. I got, how many of you have already been playing hockey? All right, all right, all right. Okay, here's my last piece of advice. First of all, I wanna say thank you to Parks and Recreation for all that you do. It's critically important that we have these uh, outlets for the kids, constructive outlets for kids to go out and enjoy every day. So I grew up, I tell people, uh, you know, by virtue of being six foot tall in the second grade, you're probably gonna be an athlete at some point. So I actually went to college on an athletic scholarship. So it is very, very important to me. Athletics are incredibly important because it keeps you healthy, it helps your mind grow, and there are just so many wonderful things that you can learn through athletics. You can learn all the life skills, and it was an opportunity for me that put me where I am today. So I am so happy with our parks and recreation and all the opportunities that they give to kids every single day to grow your bodies and your mind. So I have a commitment to that and I will continue doing that. I do not have a commitment to getting on ice skates, however, but I can get out here and probably uh, dust it up a little bit with you. So before I leave, I know all you guys wanna do is get those hockey sticks in your hands. Before I leave, here's a piece of advice. When you go to pick a team, pick one of the lightning players to be on your team. Personally, I'd go for the goalie, because then you're guaranteed you're going to win. All right? You guys enjoy. Thank you, Lightning, and go Bolts. Let's play hockey! <laughs> All right.
get it. Let's get it. 